Hey guys, today we're going to go over what I got in my wrench drawer, specifically my metric wrench drawer. Um, varies from AC Delco, John Deere, Gear Wrench, Snap On, Mac. Uh, I think that's about it. So we'll get started here. Um, first off is this little guy here, which I think is a Tecton. So I, this is a 12 millimeter that I modified right here. Oops that to focus um modified this wrench here um for uh the choke cable nut on most four wheelers kind of made it into a flare nut uh type wrench it's a 12 millimeter uh here's my regular combination wrenches which are mostly ac delco uh, there's a john deere a couple john deeres and a gear wrench and a Tecton, I guess. Uh, right here, we've got some uh, stubby uh, ratcheting gear wrenches. Uh, right here, we've got just regular combination uh, ratcheting wrenches and then some bigger uh, Blackhawk reversibles. Um, it varies between Cornwell um, and gear wrench. Over here, we've got, over here, or up here, we've got some snap-on double box end wrenches, just regular box end wrenches. Um, I've got uh, eight to 15. Then here, I love these wrenches. These are uh, gear wrench, double box end ratcheting wrenches, XL. Um, probably use these wrenches more than any wrench in this drawer. Um, absolutely love them. Over here, we've got some Blackhawk stubby reversible wrenches. Um, looks like they go up to 19. And, boy, that's so tiny. Looks like five. So, got those set on eBay um, years ago. Over here, we've got some regular length uh, reversible gear wrenches looks like blue point mac gear wrench yeah i think that's about it these mac wrenches here i absolutely hate hardly ever use them unless i absolutely have to um they are so square they hurt to use if you're not using gloves and you're really bearing down on them um hate this selector here um if you got if they they bind up so really really dislike these wrenches here um this newer mac that i've got is not nearly as bad as those back there but yeah i do not like those wrenches um let's see here we've got some super thin wrenches from snap-on um looks like i got eight to fifteen um Mainly using those on uh, fuel shutoff solenoids in the bottom of mower carburetors because a regular combination wrench, the jaws are too, too thick, so those thin ones really work nice. Um, I've got some large um, just combination wrenches back here. They're John Deere. Um, they're the Taiwan John Deere wrenches. Looks like they start over here with a 20 and we got 21 it's a pretty big set it goes all the way up to 32 i believe so that's a pretty big set there and then under those we've got some really really big black hawk uh, reversible gear wrenches they started over here with the 21 and go all the way up to 34. it's uh Big, big wrenches. I've never used those big wrenches, but uh, I think I talked about it in my toolbox tour video that um, found them, I'm pretty sure, for like 100, maybe 150 on eBay a long, long time ago. Probably 12 years ago. So that's pretty hard deal to pass up there. So, but yeah, that's, um, that's the metric tool drawer or metric wrench drawer, I should say. Um, I'm pretty proud of this drawer. It 
looks pretty nice and there's a lot of wrenches here but uh all my wrench racks are the wrench rack brand um this one is a wrench rack but i'm I think it says Matco on it, but the rest, of, and I think these two, the two blue ones say Cornwell, but they're all wrench rack. Um, love the wrench rack brand racks. Um, you can hang them. You can have them set down. They have padding in there for the wrenches, so they don't rattle around a bunch. Um, don't move around a bunch. Um, but yeah, they're an awesome rack. I've got them in my, uh, got them in my road box, and I've got them in my standard drawer, which will look at probably next week but yeah awesome racks no, i'm really happy with those but yeah this is the metric wrench drawer and we'll catch you guys later